All right, guys, we're going to call this the amateur hour, not only amateur radio. Uh, it won't be an hour, but am <laughs> amateur video as well. So this can be a little bit of an explanation on the setup, why I have the bridge going on, and what it basically takes to get into Wires X via, excuse me, into System Fusion C4 FM via two different modes. So you may hear some chatter in the meantime. Okay, first of all, the bridge and why. There are two different systems. All right, here's my fancy pointer. Okay, so we've got two different systems here. First of all, they both use C4FM as a type of digital, okay? So, and again, this is very watered down. It's just to help try to get basic understanding. So, I know I've said that a couple times. First way in, DV4 Mini. Here's the physical device, point to it here. And I've got it to an antenna, that's why you don't see that on there. Physic physical device, DV4 Mini. The program to run the DV4 Mini. This is DV, whatever, DV4, okay? That's one way in. On the same computer, I'm running Wires X, okay? Wires X is connected to a, a room right now, 21493, I believe, so MinWiz. So, people say, well, what's the difference or why aren't they compatible? There are two different linking rooms, and this is very watered down. We have DV4 Mini, that way in. In this case, we have it linked to FCS2, module 23. Okay, so that's Minnesota. That's what we're using. In the background, the Minnesota, Wisconsin, the very large room. There's some chatter going on, and you can see it's listening there. So, anyhow. So, what is the bridge? All right. The bridge is running both the programs at the same time while using the physical device, the DV4 Mini, and over there I'm not going to move the camera now because I'll show you in a minute, to an HRI 200 with a link radio. When they're both turned to the same simplex frequency, so we have the 434.225 is the one I'm using, through the DV4 Mini. On, in the settings, I'm not going to fumble with that, it won't even see it anyways, the HRI 200 and Wires X linking software, I'm also set to the same 434.225. And if you look on my radio, it's 434225. Everything is on the same frequency. We have both softwares for linking the C4FM digital mode are on that frequency and my link radio, or excuse me, the, and my HT. All right, so how do they work together? So if somebody comes across DB4 mini linking software that you'll see right here, okay? So if somebody comes across there, that's using this, any of these stations are on there right now. That'll transmit, it would get red here, it would send out that signal on that frequency, 434.225. That frequency transmits out its antenna and it goes over to the, I'm gonna move the camera so it's gonna shake. All right, so then that goes over to this very messy setup, my FTM100. That FTM100 hears that 434.225 which is the same frequency it's on there as you see through its you through its connected to the back of the radio so through the cable see it goes right through there to an HRI 200. This HRI 200 goes messy messy but it goes right back to the computer so again somebody talks on the DB4 mini it transmits out its antenna over there okay transmits out and since it's on the same frequency, this radio hears it, which has got another antenna outside. Yes, I know it looks funny, but hey, it stays cool. <laughs> and so it transmits on 434.225. This one hears it, puts it into the other system, the HRI 200, back into the other software. So that's where we get back into there. That's why we're running both. That's what I call the bridge. So talk out, and it goes both ways. So if somebody talks on the FTM 100, which comes out of the other software, okay? So if somebody talks on that, it'll transmit from that link radio over here and that'll hear it and that's how they work so there was somebody just keyed up there so you hear the the beep and you'll actually can see call signs and two and two psr matt was on there just for example so at that point he came across the wires x because they seen it here and then he then for therefore was put over the db4 mini side of things so so then somebody using that side could hear each other that's the bridge so again, physical hardware that you would need. Well, as of right now, there's some new bridging technology. Some will be at the repeater in the future. But uh, to get into it, 
I I like to have the Wires Xbox, but as of right now, we're able to somebody to buy a DV4 Mini, install just that program on your own, and use other people like me. I made the bridge, so I run both. You do not need to use both to get into the system. It's not a 100% permanent fix, but that by many people in different rooms will link you into the Wires X and kind of bridge them together. So I hope that explains it. Again, the physical hardware that anybody would need just to start dabbling with it. You would need a Fusion compatible radio, whether it's a handheld or another mobile radio, a computer, and a DV4 Mini. And find out where it's linked into different ways. So that'll get you into it. If you want to get the full uh, Wires X experience, what you would need, a computer, a link radio, either an FTM100, or this is just extra stuff. This is not part of the video, but you'd need an FTM400. Either of those, and, excuse me, and an HRI200. So if you want to do straight wires and not mess with a DB4 Mini, a little bit more money involved, computer, HRI200, link radio, and then whatever radio you're going to talk into that system with. I hope this straightens it out. To some it may be very boring, but it might be helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.